Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today I am doing a tea lovers tag. I was tagged by Lee from Little House on the Mountain. I really love her channel. She has really inspired me in a lot of areas of my life. Um, homemaking, in my faith. Girl, you will never know how much you have impacted my life. You, you just will never know. Um, so I'm very grateful for you and thanks for tagging me in this. This is gonna be really fun. The first question is, what is your all-time favorite tea? Mine is Yerba Mate. So many of you probably remember I was a coffee drinker big time. I mean, I always had a cup of coffee and it just, it was my thing. I fell in love with Yerba Mate. So it's just really yummy. I love that earthy taste to it. Um, it's not floral, it's not spicy. It's just, it's just earthy. It's like drinking roots. Um, and I like that. That's, I guess it's kind of weird, but I love it. Um, and it also gives me kind of a jolt in the morning, so I like that because I don't have the coffee anymore and it doesn't have caffeine, so it just really works out and I love it. What is the worst tea you've ever tried? I had this really fruity tea one time. It had like dried blueberries in it or something. It was disgusting. It's like drinking hot, um, hot juice like it's not tea to me so like minty teas floral teas earthy teas I'm just all about that but the fruity teas no you can keep your fruity tea what is your favorite teacup or mug show us so this is my favorite you see what it says I don't know if y'all can read that every time I think of you I give thanks to my god it's Philippians 1 3 and on the other side thankful for you my mom gave me this cup and I drink out of it almost every day I have a few others that I use sometimes, but mostly it's this one. And it just gives me the warm fuzzies. It's like, oh, my mama loves me, <laughs> you know? I mean, everybody wants to think their mama loves them. I just recently chipped it over here on this side, but I will still probably never get rid of this mug unless she gives me a replacement. But I've had it for two years. Um, she gave it to me for my birthday and it just, it gives me the warm fuzzies every day. <laughs> I love it. What was your most recent tea purchase? So mine was actually Yerba Mate. So I was running low, like I'm at the very, very bottom just, barely any tea left in it and so I went to the health food store they do not carry it anymore they had some kind of problem with their supplier I was like oh what do I do so I got on Amazon thank god for Amazon right um, and I got a four pack so this one container has lasted me almost a year I got a four pack I'm gonna have those forever and ever and ever so that was my last tea purchase and I'm so 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 glad that I got it <laughs> Do you prefer loose leaf tea or tea bags? Well, I like tea bags for the convenience, but I really love loose leaf tea too in my little tea ball because I can make my own tea. So I grow my own spearmint and lavender. I just planted raspberries, so I will have my own raspberry leaf tea. I'm very excited about that. Anything women's health is very exciting to me that I can grow here um, because I have stage four endo. And so it's just, it was great to put that in the ground and so I love the loose leaf tea because having the tea ball, it allows me to grow my own tea. I will never ever not have tea and that is a wonderful feeling. Do you prefer caffeinated or decaffeinated? Well, sometimes I like the caffeinated like an Earl Grey or something, but usually I go with decaf because like my herbal teas, they're naturally decaffeinated and so I really love that. Since giving up coffee, I've also noticed that I am much more sensitive to caffeine so I can tell like in just a few minutes if I've had anything with caffeine in it because my heart gets a little crazy and I just don't like those side effects anymore. So I stick with the herbal teas mostly. Do you normally add anything to your tea? No, I typically just drink it black. I always drink my coffee black too. So, you know, it's not a big deal. And I love the flavors. Like that's why I drink the tea because I enjoy it and I don't want to cover it up with some milk and sugar and I'm not English. Where is your favorite place to order tea and what do you get? Well, <laughs> my favorite place to order tea is my own backyard because I like to grow my own stuff. I love to grow my own in any circumstance. That is my favorite place to get anything is my own backyard. If you don't grow anything and you're a tea lover, I really highly suggest grow your own. So then three teas that you should definitely try are, my first is the throat coat tea. So as I'm growing my business with doTERRA, I'm on the phone a lot more and I'm recording a lot more videos for YouTube as well. So I'm trying to do like two a day. It's just a lot of talking. Plus I have a little person. And so I talk, talk, talk all day long. And so sometimes my throat gets really sore. Sometimes my voice tries to go out. And so my throat coat tea from Traditional Medicinals um, is just one of my favorites because I use it all the time. The second tea is the raspberry leaf tea. So I love this for all things womenly. Um, all my women's concerns. It just it's very beneficial. Do some research if you have not ever heard of using red raspberry leaf tea. 
um, as an herbal supplement it's just really helpful that's why I'm growing some now so that I can have my own tea no matter what and that is very exciting the third is chamomile tea so I love my organic chamomile um, it just really helps me to wind down I tend to be kind of high strung sometimes I get um, very focused on projects and so like when I'm editing and stuff like I will stay in that mindset for days if I'm working on a project and so I really like to drink my chamomile at night because it helps me to calm down wind down just like focus on resting and sleeping and so I love it so I am definitely a tea lover now I used to not be if you're trying to switch from coffee to tea Yerba Mate is my number one recommendation. It really helped me to transition into this tea lifestyle. I'm so glad I did. There are so many more benefits and I can choose what kind of tea I need for what my body needs at that time. And so I just love it. So thank you Lee so much for um, tagging me in this. It's been really fun. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.